Houston. There's a man running. Oh my gosh, guys. People at the airport. People at the airport are just something else. There's just a lot going on. It took us like an extra half an hour to get through customs because of this lady. There's lots of restaurants and stores all closed. There's one muffin store. Yes, we're all having closed. muffins for dinner. Guys, look. I said not too long ago. My deck is crazy. It has a lot of performance. And so I have Mega Knight, um, level 11, two more cards. Anyways, okay, well, guys, we're gonna update you when something more exciting is happening. Bye, guys. playing basketball okay maybe try to get one in okay you guys both suck so I don't know what to tell you now it's just kind of okay wow that was so good I'm kind of just standing here so look at my shots I'm actually really good at basketball no, no, that was good at me. Hope you liked my basketball skills. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to score one. That's that's it. Bye. I'm full of bad decisions today. You know what I did? Oh my god, it's actually so cute. Okay, never mind. Guys, I look so bad because the humidity just makes my hair like it makes my hair so frizzy. Anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna leave you there. I'm gonna leave you with that because frankly, I don't look my best. Bye, guys. Love you so much, and we'll see you later. Guys, I wish I was allowed to get in there. Everyone's having so much fun. Stop it. Hey guys, we're at the gym. It's like, I don't know, it's like 10 p.m. Look at the view. Literally, no, like, please look at the view. What the heck? Anyways, I'm already out of breath. I've barely done anything. Are you okay? Here are my shoes. I don't know what I'm trying to show you guys. But, like, I just wanted to show the view. Anyways. Oh my god, wait. I wanted to show you guys. Guys, for the last like week, I've been doing 100 push-ups a day because I'm trying to fix my form. I can't do a proper push-up. It's not working. Okay, like, my form is still Just as beautiful. <laughs> okay, you have to go. Smile. You're so cute. Hey guys, we're at the hot tub. Look how nice. We're at the hot tub. Here's the pool and the view. Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm back. It's like a week later. I look disgusting. I'm back from the trip. The Florida trip was amazing. I have an emotional attachment to Florida. I just have so many amazing memories associated to there. So every time I have to come back, I cry. Especially that this time coming back, I'm coming back to the cold, to the darkness. That's why I'm filming this segment. I want to talk to you guys. Basically, my mom was like, Chloe, you have to keep making mental health videos on your channel. You can't just make vlogs. Like, I'm glad you're having fun, but you need to keep making mental health videos, you know? Honestly, I agree with her because I always get DMs telling me how the podcast and how my videos talking about mental health have helped them And that just makes me so happy because I'm like I can't believe I'm actually helping people like I get made fun of a lot for having a YouTube channel People just have a hard time minding their own business But I'm like getting those DMs from people in literal different continents than me telling me that I've helped them It just makes it all worth it, you know? Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna talk about seasonal depression. It is 4 45 p.m It's literally pitch black outside in the winter I just glow down my mental health gets bad and I just I have seasonal depression, right? So it's just 
just like that and I know you're like able to control your mental health and everything and even my parents tell me like seasonal depression is real but you can't just like let it get to you you can't just like expect it to happen and just let it happen like you have to fight against it which I agree so I want to like just talk a little bit about how we can all collectively try to prevent our seasonal depression this year as much as we can my motivation in the winter time goes away my will to do anything goes away I just I'm just not happy it sounds dramatic but it's really not because it's not normal that my emotions and my mental health is based on the literal weather outside which even in the summer I see it when it's raining I'll have a less good day than when it's not raining you know even if I'm hanging out with friends even if I'm having fun you know it's just the weather affects my mood so much and I literally hate it but this year we're gonna try to prevent our seasonal depression all collectively together I know a lot of people experience seasonal depression even if it's not as dramatic as for other people I feel like everybody just like experiences a little bit especially if you live somewhere cold if you live somewhere warm and you get affected by the fact that it gets dark early that's fine I'm not gonna say that your feelings aren't valid but but I think if you live somewhere where it's cold it's a bit more difficult okay because my problem is not as much the darkness it's more the weather anyways I'm not invalidating anybody's feelings I just want to say that I'm just saying like I wish I was you I wish I lived somewhere warm trust me the cold I I can't do it anyways I think something that's really really helpful for me is first of all obviously still socializing the pandemic was horrible in every single aspect of it and the fact that I had seasonal depression and then also just like depression from like the arena pandemic it was just not a good mix. I was mental health last winter was awful awful terrible Like so bad this winter. I'm hoping that's not gonna happen already. We're doing better with the pandemic I know it's not anywhere near being over But you know things are getting a lot better and that's really really reassuring and hopefully this year We can actually celebrate Christmas. I'm gonna try to do vlogmas I'm gonna make some really exciting vlogs. Hopefully and I'm just gonna try to like stay happy You know just do things life is so short and we're so worried about everything We're so worried to tell that person that you like them talk to people at your school that you don't know and be friends with them And for people who know me like this year especially I've just like completely let go of that I'm like I don't even care I think we need to stop being so scared to take risks and just go for it because life is so short literally what's the worst that can happen what's the worst that can happen if you tell this person that you like them okay they reject you you'll move on it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be okay like I feel like it's so over dramatized I'm not saying I'm not part of the problem but I'm just saying we should all stop being so scared to do exciting things and we should just live life and just stop the hate I'm just saying okay this has nothing to do with seasonal depression but just spread love and like like what's all the hate for what's all the drama for it's like just live your life who cares like do whatever you want like it's not that deep we literally all end up dead so like what are you so afraid of you know don't take that advice too literally it's more like metaphorical in a way anyways going back to my whole seasonal depression thing so obviously socialization just socialize just be happy just live your life second thing if you do happen one day to be feeling really down to not have any plans it's cold outside it's dark you don't know what to do you're you feel yourself getting into that place where you're like, okay, I'm getting sad. I'm getting depressed This is what I do. I put my LED lights to the party colors You don't need LED lights to do this But then I just blast music and I just I just jam out honestly I have to say best thing ever like it's the most helpful thing that I found for my mental health It's the most random thing ever But like it just makes me feel amazing like songs that just like boost your serotonin and just make you happy I don't know I just want everyone to try their best to not hit that wall of seasonal depression this year I know Oh, it's hard. I know. Trust me. I know it's hard for me, too I'm really trying to not get in that headspace because trust me. I already feel myself I already feel myself getting into that mindset of it's cold. I hate everything. I don't want to do anything It's dark. I'm depressed. I feel it and I'm just I'm pushing it away. I'm ignoring it I'm not thinking about it. If anyone's going through anything feel free to DM me My DMs are always open and I'll definitely try my best to help you get through whatever you're going through Even if your life is going amazing, even if you're the happiest that you've ever been DM me tell me let me know it makes me so happy when people are happy I, I will be so happy for you I will say even with the whole winter thing and the whole seasonal depression thing I'm the happiest I've ever been and I'm so proud of myself for that and I want to hear you guys tell me that too if I know you if I don't know you I don't care tell me and I will be so happy for you we're all in this life together like life is short just be happy live your life don't be scared to do crazy things and we're all gonna die one day so just I don't know this talk ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be but I really hope you guys enjoyed anyways I love you guys so much I'll see you guys in my next video bye oh.